Blimey, the half bike is here. I was so excited, I got the delivery today of, this is from uh, Bulgaria in, uh, in Europe, and this is the half bike. I ordered this when I was uh, in, uh, in uh, Tanzania, but I know I will be ordering this because I've been wanting uh, this uh, half bike. It's quite unusual. I've never seen this half bike before here in the States, but there's a lot of this in, uh, in, uh, in Eastern Europe. Bulgaria, this is the origina uh, originator. I was expecting the delivery to be Monday, and but hey, right in front of my face, at the doorstep, a big massive uh, delivery box, the half bike. I I was expecting this Monday, as I said, but it's uh, three days earlier. I think DHL uh, they really did a good job in uh, in advancing the delivery. I am excited. All right, here is the box. So that's it says uh, half bike. Okay, but this is uh, partially assembled. Now, this is gonna keep, keep me busy. So, this is uh, the half bike and excited about it. It is just way so cool. It says on the box of the half bike box, right outside the box. It's a kind of modified version of the idiom think outside the box. Isn't that cool? All right, I'm just so excited. I'm ready to surgically open this uh, box. This is the half bike three, uh, the third generation, and I know this is way better. So the body is all made out of metal, and the wheels are the front wheel is a bit smaller, and that is say uh, it's even uh, lighter. Now there are mocks. Oh my God, there's uh, so many pieces of the puzzle here. It came uh, semi uh, semi assembled. Look at this, uh, the half bike. That's the handle. And here is the pretty cool, really solid. This is the front wheel, and then uh, the two rear wheels, the smaller one. And I think there's a, this is for putting them all together. All right, so that's what I have. You have bike. Wheels. Alright, so they came partially assembled as expected. Uh, now I have to assemble this. Uh, guess what? I'm going to go you tubing. Alright, to assemble the half pot. bike has uh, three wheels, right? So this is the third generation. So the big one is right in front, and this is the trunk. They call it the trunk, and that's the front. The trunk is the rear, and it has, um, you know, uh, let's say, uh, the, the front, uh, the front brake, and there are gears. I haven't tried the gears yet. There are four gears, and this is the brake. Okay, so it says half five. Uh, Alright, I'm on the half bike. 
so right there so here's a parking space so practically it's a, a quite inactive space so it's a it's a flat and it's a looks like one of the best places to learn so i started i thought i know, I know it's going to be quite difficult i'm in a certain learning curve i was so excited now i need to push push myself through by far i haven't uh i haven't hit the hard surface all right so here is the half bike right there so i assembled it last night there you go so that's the half bike i got a yellow all right so the first thing to learn is to just uh, move forward the turn will take later so so far as i said i haven't hit the ground yet one way or the other definitely i will hit the ground if in case i'm just gonna let the half bike go by itself all right let's uh practice once again Right side today. Cheers. All right, so I guess this is my uh, I think this is my fifth day of learning and practicing the half bike. Uh, I'm here at the uh, at the uh, parking garage here at the mall at the Capitol Mall, and that's a sis, and uh, it's closed now. Seals are gone, and uh, so this is practically an empty space. Uh, it's only a few cars, and it's quite inactive and uh, I used to practice along uh, same mart but now I switched to I was walking um, for my uh, for my uh, morning walk today so oh that's the mall and I saw it's uh, it's practically an active parking space so why not practice it 
So I yeah, found out that in this uh, half bike, that's my half bike, there you go, I put my water, there's no carrier water and got my phone there and I got my pouch, you know, my keys and everything. So I found out that this half bike, so pretty, quite, uh, it's truly, there is a learning car to, to learn this. So although, uh, at least in my experience, I know how to ride on a bike, at least, uh, you know, I can, I can uh, travel with my, with a bicycle and uh, I don't ride on it. I used to ride on a skateboard when I was uh, small, yeah, dunk his ears, but I stopped and, uh, because I always, each time I hit a rock, so I stumble down and I do roller skates and uh, a bit of roller blade. And uh, it's, uh, I found this hot bike is pretty enjoyable and addictive, as my fact. And plus, it's a great cardio. So I think I find this uh, much better than a bicycle because this one you are uh, standing in an upright position trying your best to be in an upright position unlike in a bicycle you're your hunchback and uh, so the, the trauma golden cone so at least in my experience on a bicycle especially is the, uh, it's the groin you know uh, although you've been uh, biking for years and years it's your growing the sing it in Tagalog oh it's that's quite painful and the butt uh, you know and also sometimes the lower back and um, yeah I found it really enjoyable especially in a, in a bright sunny day like this and I tried uh, doing it outside meaning uh, in the in, in not not so busy streets about 25 miles per hour I can do with it but at this point, I try to skip that, you know, only if I see a bike lane that is uh, almost a double the size of a regular bike lane, then I'll do. Because more often than not, uh, the, I, I've noticed that, I don't know if you notice this, uh, the, the road, normally it curves towards, meaning it's, there is a certain kind of like curvature towards uh, the curve. And whenever I am on a bike lane that is a little bit curvaceous like this, so the tendency is to go to towards the the curb and there was one occasion that I, I hit the curb and I got gracious um, I didn't think I hit uh, the hard solid surface so I just uh, stopped and uh, I think it's doable because I've seen particularly of course those pro in Eastern Europe they're actually <coughs> excuse me uh, or itchy 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 throat Covid, 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 no, I know, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I've seen there, uh, you know, in a not so busy street though. And also the flat is the best and the incline is alright. Uh, since there is a gear, you can change the gear, which I did. So it does help a bit. But uh, keep in mind, so this is, uh, this is a, a not a regular bicycle, so it's for the half bike. So you got to pedal uh, practically all the time. So not unless you are kind of speeding up and you want to slow down and stop pedaling. And then and also in, a, in an incline, in, in, uh, in, 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 in a dive deep like that. So, okay, uh, then you, you, you can rest your legs. But it's, it's doable. It's a, it's a leg workout. It's a total body workout. And then, uh, and also one thing is that uh, the, uh, the handlebar, does not turn the wheel could you imagine in bicycle you do have this uh, luxury of turning uh, the front wheel right so it's about you know it, it can turn 360 degrees without those cables but this one you can't turn it's steady so it's uh, it's it's the way you move the handlebar and the way you move your body so it's uh, those are the things that I found quite daunting to start with as well as the turning part so I'm still in a certain learning curve here, but half bike is uh, it's pretty amazing. So I definitely would recommend try the half bike. By the way, there's no hard, but half bike here in the United States or somewhere else. This half bike is, uh, was invented by a little architect engineer. So in Eastern Europe, in Bulgaria, it's called some problem. So it's a pretty amazing, simple equipment that could be on the go. Uh, but this will not be an alternative mode of transport for a long distance travel. Maybe hop on, hop on the train, but the trains here from Europe, yes, they do. Then this can be folded, so to make it smooth. So, uh, this can fit in a luggage.
luggage, uh, of course, you know, check in luggage according to the half bike guys. All right, so it's now becoming pretty windy here in, uh, in Santa Cruz. I, I think I'm gonna do a few more rounds of this half bike and good to go. All right, so enjoy everyone. Uh, enjoy this uh, great summer. Summer is still summer here. The tail end of summer I, and, and work, uh, my work uh, will begin soon and very soon. All right, keep a smile and the world will smile at you. Cheers! <coughs> All right, <laughs> see you later. Thank you, my friend, for watching the video. I hope you learned something. I did. Once again, Traveling is not arriving to a new destination. It is a looking at the world in a different perspective. Keep that smile and the world will smile at you. Cheers. Be safe.